What's going on YouTube? Legions Gaming here with another Disgaea RPG video and today we're going to be talking about how to clear rank 30 to 35 plus item world. <laughs> A lot of people are going to be saying, Legions, why didn't you post this week one? I'm going to tell you something. I knew about this strat before the game even came out. The reason I didn't want to do it, those of you that know me and have been in my Twitch streams and have talked to me a lot on Discord, etc. I freaking hate speed meta i hate speed meta so freaking much and that's pretty much what this strat is it's a very very cheesy speed meta and um, i hate it i i absolutely hate it but you know what a lot of people in my chat are wondering how are how are these people getting rank 35 items how are they clearing xp gates i have to be like 300 levels above to clear xp gates in this video i'm going to be showing you how to do that with level one printies as long as you have your item shop to at least rank 19 without further ado let's get right on with this video <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're going to do is show you guys how to reset your shop rank and lower it down to rank 19 if you're higher than that. So I'm rank 22 right now. I could be rank 23, but I haven't finished on mold store yet. I've just been plowing through item world and doing dailies, etc., among other gotchas. So you're going to go into your equipment page and you're going to hit refresh. Now it says customer rank 22. A lot of people don't even know you can do this. You're going to go down to 29, uh, 19. Sorry. You're going to go down to 19. You're going to go to armor. And you're going to keep refreshing until you see some boots, some arrow sneakers. I already have enough, but I'll probably buy some more just because I'm going to keep refreshing. Sometimes, there we go. So we got some arrow sneakers. We're going to go ahead and buy them all. You're going to want at least nine of them. So you're going to keep refreshing and doing this over and over. Now, I will say right now, the strat I'm using, I'm going to be using in a, a tired Roslyn, New Year's Roslyn. And I'm going to be using my Xmas Laharl because he's my farming unit because he gives a 5% increased drop rate. Now, you could do this without New Year's Rosalind. You could do it with uh, Desko Laharl. Anyone that has AoE, you can do it with, but they have to know cheap AoE. If you want to, uh, if you want to waste Weapon Mastery on the bow, it costs like 350 to get them to level 9. So I guess that's not that bad if you really need to do this strat and you don't have a tired Rosalind or Xmas Laharl. Then you could do it with Laharl or Desco. Desco does have cheap AOE, so she works. But for the XP gates, you're going to want to need a to bring a friend unit Rosalind, or make sure that your characters are fast enough to go right after your Prism Rangers because the fish are fast. I believe they have 75 speed, something like that. So you have to have your characters to have over 65 combined with the Rosalind friend unit, I believe. I'm going to test it here for you guys right after we show you the item world strat. Now, before we continue on and do item world farming and show you guys how to do that and XP gates, I have to stress that you guys have to have them NE1. If you guys don't know where to farm them, I have a separate video on my channel on where to farm them and how to farm them efficiently and quickly on my channel. I'll link it down below in the description box and pin them in the comments as well. So you have to get them to NE1. The reason being, they boost humanoid allies speed by 4%. So if you have a four of them on there, you're getting 16% speed. So if you have 60 speed, that's about, I think like seven speed extra, and you need over 75 speed to beat them. So combined with the New Year's Rosalind, that should be enough if you have four of them to boost up your turn gauge. And here is my team for the item world cheese. As you can see, I named the team cheese. I have the blue prism ranges all with 61 speed. They have all the sneakers and ninja hand armor. So I'm using a fist and the three sneakers. You could also use a gun. Guns also give two speed. I don't think legendaries matter. I have a legendary gun here, something or a fist, and it doesn't seem to give any more speed. So I don't think it matters. It might just be a rank thing. Maybe ranks give higher speed, but I don't think you can get more than two. And arrow sneakers give four. I do believe there's one that gives five at higher rank, but I haven't seen any. So the, this, this is enough to get you to where you want to be. So all of my Prism Rangers have the same thing. They all have a fist and three sneakers, as you can see. And then on my Xmas Laharl, because he is kind of a slow unit, I did put two sneakers on him as well. And of course, he's got the bow and he has the doppelganger ability for the cheap AoE. And he's going to be doing some massive damage. And then I also have 
Rosalind here to speed up the rest of the team as well as giving me an AoE boost of 15% at any one. And I assume there's a lot of people that pulled for Rosalind that have put in any printing in her and have this ability. If you have not put any printies in her and she's any zero, I highly recommend using this, especially for farming, because she's going to make your AoE damage 15% stronger, which is very, very huge in uh, farming teams. I don't need any speed buffs for her because she's already at 58 and I want her to go last. So I'm going to be using her just for her passive. She pushes everyone up and then she's also going to be buffing everyone's attack for their AoE. So enough talking. Let's get into an item world at rank 34 ish so I can show you guys how easy this is. Okay. This is a rank 34 armor that I just leveled up to 11. I still haven't gotten a 35 drop. I've just started doing this cheese because I've fallen so behind because I have been playing other gacha games like My Hero and the Slime anime gacha game as well as playing Resident Evil Village on stream and Near Replicant and, you know, IRL stuff. I just came from the gym. Like, it's just a lot of stuff. I'm getting ready for a vacation, so I, I've just been... Not wanting to do this, but at the same time, I'm like, you know what? I'm falling behind. I just need to do this so I can be able to do other content and make my other teams stronger. So we're going to do a rank 34 web, uh, armor, and we're going to go into the level 11 world so you can see how it's even stronger than a level 1 armor. It's at level 11, so I'm going to show you guys how easy this cheese is. Make sure it's not on auto, because if you do this on auto, for some reason, they never use their skills ever. So... I don't know why the Prism Rangers don't use their skills. Maybe that'll be a quality of life update in the future, but for some reason, they don't do it. So here we go. We're just going to spam friend power. What this does is boost your allies attacks by 27%. That's what he's at right now. At max, it's 40%. So I'm still leveling up their skills. I'm not going to put any skill scrolls in them because eventually I'm going to replace these characters and they'll level up the skills, you know, uh, organically by themselves. So you're just going to keep spamming these and these stack by the way so if i do three on this wave and then another three on the other wave they stack you're going to notice how much more damage i do on the last wave than i do right now so we're going to do doppelganger seven million damage on everyone very nice and then on this stage since everyone still has the buff we're just going to be auto attacking to build their sp back up so for the last wave they can do their friend power again so i'm just going to attack again anyway now we're going to do doppelganger one more time as you can see around still seven million average now when we get our prism ranges on the last one we're gonna spam friend power again get those boosts in again and they're stacking again with the first wave and we're gonna do an aoe with rosalind who has about the same strength as my laharl and she's gonna do eight mil she's a little bit weaker but if my laharl was to be the one to do that attack he would have hit for like 14 mil almost double what he was doing on the first wave so as you can see this strat is very easy you're going first with your prism rangers you're buffing everyone and you're one-shotting everything with aoe cheese it's very broken it's actually kind of busted how blue prism rangers are i thought they were going to kind of nerf this a little bit in um global but i guess not i mean it is disgaea and there are stupid strategies that you can use even in the console games so I, I guess it's not really a surprise that they didn't nerf it. But let me go show you guys. I don't know if I'm able to do XP dungeons because I think I already did them. I don't wait for the 8 p.m. thing. Sometimes I do them right at reset, and I'm pretty sure last night I did it right at reset. Let me see if I can uh, show you guys, though, a, if I have one or two stages open. As long as I can show you that they go before the fish, that's all I really want to show you guys. Yeah, I already did all the XP games. But let me just do a 1651 just to show you guys that I, if I go first, that's all that matters. I'm going to use my boy Dippin' Dots, Rosalind, at any 10. So she's going to give, you know, ex increased XP. While also, I'm not even going to get any XP out of this. So I'm not going to... Wait, why do I have auto in? I don't know why. I So I... Auto, one time, I brought this blue prism thinking it was this one. And I auto-reincarnated both <laughs> by accident. Um, I do want to build one because I want to build an all prism ranger team. I think I might have said pretty by accident all prison ranger team and in the future i'm going to be clearing content like harder content conquest battles or something with prison rangers to show you guys that you know free to play can still do the harder content but so we're going to be using this strat i'll show you guys one more after this so we're going to use the two Roslins, my Roslin and the friend Roslin, to get the increased gauge for the turn gauge and then we're also going to be bringing our blue prisms to buff so let's see how this goes we're going to be definitely going first before then I'm going to try to do the four blue prisms and one friend unit Rosalind. I don't think that really works that well, but we can try it. 
All right, so again, as you can see, we went first. And all, all fish have the same speed for everyone. Like I said, uh, for every stage. Like I said, if you don't have Roslyn and Laharl, you can use Desco and uh, Lahar, the regular Laharl instead of Xmas Laharl. There's any AoE unit that's cheap AoE you can bring, but you have to make sure they're fast enough. If they're not fast enough, they're going to get one-shotted, okay? So you're just going to be buffing, 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 and then one-shotting everything. Like, that's literally how I was able to do the 2700 XP dungeon at level 2300. It's very, very cheesy. And then the next stage, you're just going to be auto-attacking again, bring, building up your SP, you, etc. You get the picture. You can do doppelganger again. Then you're going to get the last turn, and you'll have your friend power again, boost them even stronger boost 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 and then you're going to be doing aoe and wiping everybody in one shot now i could show you guys the 3700 one but i am definitely not going to be able to clear that one I already tried it last night i need better equipment or a couple more reincarnation levels maybe from 2800 to 3000 or 3100 will be a big enough boost for me to be able to one shot they're like this close to being one shotted but uh not strong enough so i have to uh build my units a little bit more now i'm going to show you guys with four i think it's possible with just one friend unit roslyn but it's vroom, it's kind of it's a it's a close call so if you don't have xmas laharl or regular laharl or even desk when you just have new year's roslyn or something and like a couple of other characters I, you could bring like one roslyn and four prism rangers that works too or you, we're gonna try right now no roslyn and just bring a friend unit but i don't think that works that well now we're going to do the 3700 dungeon uh, just to show you guys that it doesn't matter what level difficulty the dungeon is you are still going to be going ahead of them they always have i think it's 75 or 73 speed it's around there but i'm going to try to see if we can do it with four prism rangers i think if they were a tiny bit faster i could i do know that they're probably going to go first it's just a problem that xmas laharl might the reason being is he needs to be a little bit slower because they have to go first to buff him first and uh, I don't think he's fast enough, but if I put one more sneaker on him, he's going to be way faster than them. So I don't want to do that, but we'll see with one Roslyn if it works. I think you need two Roslins. It's just it's so much easier with two Roslins, but we're going to see unless the Xmas Laharl goes. Now, nah, as I can see, I can already see it here. I don't know why auto's on, but yeah, Xmas Laharl is going to go last, I think. Oh, wow. No. Okay. So it does work. So four Prism Rangers also work if you only have one Xmas Laharl or a Laharl as well. And he only needs to have around 59 speed. So I only had 59 speed and I brought a friend unit, Roslyn. And that actually worked out really well. So let me try that one more time and use the buffs. I don't think I'm going to be strong enough to one-shot these things at all. Um, I've tried it yesterday, even though I found a better bow today. Um, I got a th rank 34 or rank 33 bow and I was using like a rank 23 one before. I still don't think it's going to be enough even with like a 100% stat boost here. But we will see and we're going to do an AoE here. No, as you can see almost there. Maybe if I would have brought that extra Roslyn and just three of them, I would have been able to kill both of them. But the problem would be the next turn on the next wave, I would have no SP to do the AoE again. So that's where I need to get a little bit stronger. But still really good strat and uh it this should help you guys a lot doing item world and also farming these gates i hope this video helped you guys out a lot thank you guys so much for watching i'm sorry i didn't post this earlier i don't like doing these cheese strats i really don't it's the reason i stopped playing epic 7 because epic 7 turned into speed meta speed meta speed meta i freaking hate speed meta it ruined the game for me it was to the point where like all i did was farm wervern 11 at the time when i was still playing now they have wervern 13 plus but all i did was farm speed mats and literally every single person had to have speed even your tanks it got so boring i hate when games do that and obviously this game's not going to be that way there's going to be other strats you can use but for now when, since we're waiting for better characters like Asagi, etc., this is going to have to be what I do to be able to catch up fast and um, uh, get some good some good gear and get these XP dungeons more quickly and three star them much faster. So I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. Hit that like button if it did. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring that notification bell to be notified for future videos and be part of the notification squad to see as soon as guides and pull videos, etc., go live as soon as they do. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.